Hi children, it's Auntie Jane here. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful Easter with your special family. I hope you've had some delicious Easter eggs to eat. But most importantly, I hope you've had Jesus close to your heart this Easter because Jesus loves each one of you so, so much. You must always remember that, okay? Today, I'm going to read you a story and the story is called Samuel the Sheep. Samuel the sheep loved to sing. He sang all day long. The only time he wasn't singing was when he was asleep. One day, Samuel grew tired of singing all by himself. I'm going to sing for my friends, he thought. Ba, ba, ba. Not far away, Samuel spotted Stripe the Badger. There's the badger over there, hurrying to his home in the wood. I'll sing for Stripe, thought Samuel excitedly. Ba, ba, ba. Sang Samuel at the top of his lungs. Stop it, yelled Strap. I've been out all night and I want to go to sleep. Go and sing somewhere else, please. <laughs> Walking through the woods, Samuel came to a small little clearing. This looks like it's a concert place, like a theater. He chuckled. I'll put on a special concert for this small little fawn. He found a little duck, uh, a little buck. That's a little buck, and he was going to sing for the buck. Ha 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 ha! Tra la 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 la! Sang Samuel, louder than ever before. Spot didn't stay to listen. The noise scared her away. Ha! said Samuel. Ah, ah, ah. Speckle the thrush, which is like a little bird, was sitting in a tree at the edge of the woods. Bah, 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 began Samuel, but Speckle held up his wing. Please don't sing for me, he said. Bah. Ha, ha, ha. Let me sing for you, said Speckle. I have a much sweeter voice for you. And Speckle filled the air with beautiful bird song like this. Ha, <whistles> ha, <whistles> said Samuel. He was feeling very sad. Nobody wanted him to sing for them. Nobody wants me to sing, said Samuel. We do, called some sheep nearby. We love singing too. Come and sing with us. There's his family. Look, some more of the sheep. There's one sheep and there's another sheep and there's another sheep. Samuel was so happy. Now I'm part of a choir, he said. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Bah, bah. <laughs> and children, Samuel the sheep found his family and he found that they loved his singing because he sounded just the same as them. And I want to tell you that God has got you all in such special families and your family are just the same as you and you're just the same as them and they love you very much and they want you to do lots of lovely things like sing for them and um, have lots of fun with them. So children, I hope you've enjoyed the story. And what we're going to do in the next activity is you are each going to be able to make your own sheep using a paper plate and some cotton wool. So until just now, I'll say bye-bye.